How do all, and welcome to another Hengis Wild Camps. Well, I'm out again in the glorious Peak District, and I'm just walking up from Hayfield. I'm going to make my way up William Clough, and then on to Asherped, and then uh, probably Fairbrook Mears. Now, the weather forecast said it was supposed to be light rain and a bit of mist, but it's absolutely lovely at the moment. Oh, it's good to get out. Bit of fresh air, some exercise and uh, a treat for the eyes of all this beautiful scenery. Right, well, I'll plod on and I'll show you some views a long way and I'll speak to you later. Hello there. Hello. You got a friend with you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that your sheep? No. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sheepy. Hello. Hello. Give him the sandwich. He'll come. Hey. <laughs> Did you film that? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a friendly sheep came up and uh, licked my hand. <laughs> well, as you can see behind me, I'm uh, at the bottom of William Clough and I'm with my mate who's just down there chatting with these people. And yeah, we're about to plod on up there, then get towards Mill Hill and then up Asherped. Well, I'm here with... Franz Peters. And Diane. And Franz and Diane. From well, Holland. From Holland. Yeah. Oh. yeah. What a lovely country, I've been there plenty of times myself in my younger days. Yeah, okay. in my younger days. In my younger days, I. <laughs> we're, we're staying here for two months. Wow. Oh, at the campsite. Yeah. Oh, lovely. And we, and we, so far, we've done all the walks from the campsite, 12 of them. Wow. Yeah, yeah. we have. Our daughter lives in Didsbury. Oh, yes, I know Didsbury so quite well. She got her first baby two weeks ago. So oh, so congratulations. That's why we, uh, we have we're a good here. reason to be here. Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely part of the country. Yes. Yeah, certainly, yeah. Right, well, I think we're going to plod on up William Clough, so uh, I'll see you in a bit. See you in the pub. Well, if I seem a bit out of breath, that's because I am. Just come up William Clough behind me. Over there you've got Mill Hill and got that little thing to go up next, Ash your bed. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I've got the waterproof on because it started to uh, come down a bit. I mean, it's kind of like a drizzle mist at the moment, but it does seem to be getting a bit heavier. Yeah, now I've got my breath back. I'll plod on up there. I'll speak to you when I get to the top. Wish me luck. <laughs> Ooh, just made it up to the top of Ash your bed. And now I'm going to turn left ski or go over at Crested Hill and turn left and uh, that'll take us on to the northern edge and we're going to make our way down to Fairbrook Nays. I'm just going to uh, take another lingering look at these views. I'll turn camera around and give you a better view but it looks great from up here. Great, we'll plod on and I'll bring you back when we've got over to the northern edge. Well, it's still raining. Um, we're making our way along the northern edge to Fairbrook Nays and there's boxing glove stones behind me. 
Oh, there's some people coming towards us as well. So uh, yeah, best put this away and plod along in that direction. I'll see the end of it. Well, we're at our campsite and uh, it's time to get the tent up. It's closed in, it's uh, wet, it's getting a bit chilly. Well, it's not super cold or out like that, but uh, definitely in need of some shelter. Well, I'm going to get me uh, tent up. I brought a different tent. It's been uh, over two years since I last used it. I don't know if I can remember how to pitch it. Anyway, uh, I'll show it you when it's up. I need to get on with getting it pitched. I'll speak to you in a bit. Well, as you can see, my tent's up and uh, it's still chucking it down outside. I've uh, taken my waterproofs off, got my mattress sorted and my sleeping bag. As you can see, I'm lying on it. And uh, I should get some food on, really, because uh, I've not eaten today. And come to think of it, I didn't eat anything yesterday. Might explain why I felt a bit dizzy while I was walking up here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm uh, going to wait till the uh, rain slackens off a little bit before I start cooking, I think. In the meantime, I will have some nutrition via this tin of McEwan's Champion 7.3. Mmm, yum. <laughs> I'll just crack it open. Oh, smells good. Well, everybody. Good health and cheers. Oh. E by gum, that's good beer that. Whoa, it went down a treat that. Oh. Right, well I'm just going to uh, get myself back to the land of the living by hydrating myself and getting a few calories in me. And, uh, yeah, and then I'll think about getting some tea on. And once this rain slackens off, I'll give you a guided tour at tent. But until then, I'm going to drink this and I'll see you in a bit. Well, rain stopped and uh, we're just having a wander. Going to go over to Pedestal Stone and we've bumped into another YouTuber. Greg. You alright? Hey! <laughs> yeah, nice tent that. See to summit? Yeah. It's out of inner pitch first, so I got a bit wet. Yeah, it chucked it down, didn't it, earlier? There's a bit of a test for that. My tent's out of pitch, but I, got, I managed, still managed to get the inner right. piss wet through. <laughs> <laughs> right, shall we have a yeah, wander over to Pedestal over. Stone? I'm at this, uh, well, I think possibly one of my favourite spots in the Peak District for the views. I'll turn the camera around in a moment and show you, but I'm just next to Pedestal Stone. And I'm with my two friends. And oh, the view left and right down the Ashut Valley from where I'm stood. It's amazing. Well, while I remember, um, the other day, I was in Tesco and I bumped into Ian and Diane, who were... Uh, recognized me from my channel when they came over to say hello and it was great speaking to them they were a really nice couple and i said i'd give them a mention so ian and diane cheers whoops <sighs> e-buy gum that's still good beer well anyway as i said i'll turn the camera around and give you a better view there's a red kite flying along well, that's what we think it is. I was going to zoom in, but it takes too long. 
Anyway, uh, I'll pan from left to right, looking down the Ashut Valley. What a fantastic view with those clouds in the distance. There's the pedestal stone in the centre of the screen. There's the Chinese wall, seal edge, and that headland there, you can just see seal stones. And then behind it, you've got that headland there, is Crookstone Mall. And we are camped roughly in a bearing kind of just up yonder near those rocks. Right, well, uh, I'm going to put this camera away because it's a bit rude to be doing this filming here when I've got company. So, uh, it stopped raining. When I get back to the campsite, I'll uh, show you around my pitch. I'll see you all later. Whew, I'm a bit out of breath because uh, just gone off piste back to uh, our camp spot and it was uh, uphill and through the heather. Anyway, while it's uh, daylight, I thought I'd give you a quick look at my tent. It's there behind me. I'm in the uh, Lan Shan one. It's uh, not one of the pluses or whatever your variations you can get these days. It's one of the original ones. And I uh, haven't used it in over two years, so I thought I'd bring it out. Anyway, I'll turn the camera around and uh, let's have a walk around the tent. Well, yeah, here it is. Uh, I'll try not to trip up over these guidelines. 3F UL gear one sham one. If I recall, you had to seam seal these bits. So, uh, done the outside and the inner. The rest of it is uh, tape seamed or seam tapes or whatever it's called. Well, uh, let's have a quick look inside, show you what I've got. I've got the door kind of flung back there, but in the porch area, got some cuins, some water, my uh, cooking pot stove, wind guard, cup stove, everything's in there. In that mess there, got my Osprey with its uh, rain cover still out. The gators are down there. That's a food bag. Yeah, inside. I've got my German Army folding mat, my new Climate Static Insulated V-Light, uh, Climate, when I contacted them about the old one going down, sent me this replacement. I've got my uh, flex tail neck contour pillow there, down trousers, down booties down there, my electrical bag synthetic puffer jacket over yonder and that's about it well the mist is really coming in fantastic it's kind of spooky <laughs> well uh yeah it may be uh, a bit later when i uh, get some food on because um what time is it now mate 20 past nine 20 past nine i've still got three cans of beer Sunset is, uh, well, it's a bit irrelevant because we can't see the sun. So yeah, I'm going to um, drink some more beer and then uh, do some cooking after that. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> right, I'll see you all later. I've just rigged myself up a canopy. Let me turn my light on. I don't know if that's better or I'm just blinding you. Um, let me just turn it up. But uh, yeah. Can you see that? I'll turn the camera around, give you a better look, and I won't be blinding you. Yeah, so I've uh, got my tracking pole out. Stuck a guideline over the back of my mate's tent. <laughs> he doesn't know about it yet. Um, it's a bit of a maze walking over here. But uh, yeah, I've got a nice. Uh, little canopy there. I'm going to uh, do some cooking in a moment. There's a bit of rain in the air so uh, that's why the thought pops into my head. I don't know why I haven't done this with the tarp star. I should really. <laughs> I hope this light isn't blinding you. But I've uh, got a beer over there. 
So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So just walk over and get it. Well, everybody, good health and cheers. Levi gun, that's still good there. I'm going to put it down here for a moment because um, before I dive in my tent, oh, would help if I take my hand away from the camera. Before I dive in my tent, I just want to capture this uh, lingering redness in the sunset that's still there. I'll turn the camera around and uh, I'll try and zoom in on it. Hopefully, that'll pick it up a bit better. Look at that band of red there. Let me zoom in. I don't know if that's any better, but that's on its max zoom. Looks lovely. Still a bit of drizzle in the air. I'll just put it back. Right, that's back to normal. Let me turn this off. Don't know if that's better. I'm going to get back to my beer and then uh, do some darkness cooking. <laughs> uh, I've got a curry with uh, some rice and cashew nuts. When I do a bit of exercise, for some reason, my appetite just goes away. But for some reason, a few beers brings it back. <laughs> so it's uh, taken till now before I've started to feel hungry again. Oh, it's so good being here. That lovely red in the sky. Ah. Well, enough of me grinning at this lovely, beautiful scenery. Oh, it's a privilege to be here. Going up William Clough, my god. It's been years since I've been up there. In my mind's eye, not too steep, fairly steady uphill route. Nah. <laughs> not with the weight that was in my rucksack today. But that was mainly beer, I must admit. Yeah, it was tough going. Then it rained and then typical, as soon as you put your waterproofs on, it stops. And it got boiling hot, so we had to stop, take the waterproofs off. Got a few hundred yards, started raining again. So yeah, <laughs> good fun. But I'm so glad we came here on a night like this. It was misty on the way up. And then before when we were at the uh, pedestal stone, the uh, the way that the views just opened up and then all that mist came rolling in. Oh, it was magnificent. Right, folks, well, enough of me, as I said before, rambling on and then I carried on rambling on. I'll get back to my tent. Well, I'll get back to my beer first. The rain stopped. Oh, I'm going to spend a bit of time outside for a bit. And then uh, get in my tent, get all these waterproofs off and start some cooking. Might end up having a midnight feast. <laughs> See you later. Mmm, chicken job frazzy. Pillow rice, yum. All that in it, the old simmer ring. Well, I reckon that's done. Well, my grub's ready. It's steaming away, piping hot, just down here. I'll turn the camera around and uh, let you have a look at it. Well, here it is. I'm trying to illuminate it with my torch. 
but uh, a lovely steaming bowl of chicken jalfrezi pillow rice with roasted salted cashew nuts all mixed into it I think I might have mentioned before that um, exercise ruins my appetite but McEwen's champion restores it I'm quite hungry I'm looking forward to this it's a bit like uh, having a kebab on your way back home from the pub at night <laughs> well enough of me rambling on let's see how it tastes Whoa, this is a big spoonful. Mm. Oh, that is so nice. I'm going to get stuck into it. What a good time to eat just before you're going to go to bed. That keeps you warm as well. As you digest it, your body naturally warms up. So I'm in for a toasty warm night. Anyway, as I said, I'm going to get stuck back into my curry. Speak to you later. Well, I hope you can see me in this light. It's uh, about five past two a.m. and the time's flown by. I'm in my sleeping bag and uh, I'm just about to get my head down. I thought I'll just see what time it is. Wow! <laughs> It'll start getting daylight in about two hours or so. I think I'll sleep through it. Well on that note, as I said I'm all tucked up in my sleeping bag. I'll say good night all. See you in the morning. Well, good morning all. It's uh, sometime after eight o'clock. Nice and dry outside. Still a bit cloudy. The wind's picked up a bit more compared to yesterday, but it's warm. I've just had to uh, take a few items of clothing off because I was uh, starting to overheat in the tent. I've got the door open at the moment because uh, I'm just getting a brew on. There's my stove down there. Right. I'll get on with my brew and uh, try and sort my hair out and <laughs> wake up. I'll speak to you in a bit. Well, that's my morning brew made. It's just down there. Excuse me a moment while I have a slurp. Oh, hot, hot. Well, it's just been made, hasn't it? It's boiling hot water, it would be. <laughs> Oh, that's much needed. Well, I'm going to uh, just lie here, drink this coffee, and then once I've started to wake up, start to think about packing up. So, I'll get on with my brew, and I'll see you in a bit. As you can see, all saddled up, got the bag on. My trekking poles are just there. Craig's come over to join us. And uh, I'm doing my usual, just having a look around the tent pegs in my case, or any little bits of rubbish, but all the bits of rubbish have been picked up and they're in a Ziploc bag in one of my side pockets in my rucksack, along with a few crushed beer tins. And uh, yeah, it all looks nice and tidy, like we all do. We leave no trace, so others can enjoy it. And what an enjoyable place this is. Ah, oh, it's been a good camp, this. Right, well, I think we're gonna plod on back down William Clough and uh, thank God we're going downhill and these packs seem so much lighter now well they would be because they are right well uh, I'll show you some views a long way and I'll speak to you later but for now we're gonna plod on Just on his way to Asherped and uh, come across this wreckage. I think it's from uh, one of the Sabre aircraft that collided in the 1950s. But uh, I'll turn the camera around in a moment, give you a proper look. But some of the metal, it looks like it was made yesterday. 
and some people have left some crosses over there. As I said, I'll turn the camera around. Yeah, so here's the uh, the wreckage, and you see the pulleys where the wires went over the uh, the ailerons and things like that to operate it. Somebody's left, as I said, some crosses here, a little one down there. But look how uh, shiny the metal is in places. I'll just uh, get a bit closer. Right, well, I just thought that was interesting and uh, I'd show you that. We're going to uh, carry on that way. Paths there, just over the uh, the corner of Asherped, down to the Cairn. Then we're going to uh, head back down William Clough, back into Hayfield. So once again, I'll show you some views and uh, I'll talk to you later. But for the moment, we're going to plod on. Well, we made it back to Hayfield and uh, we're in the Sportsman. I'm just waiting for my drink to be brought over and having a look at the food menu. Gonna get a bite to eat. Looking forward to this pint. I'll bring you back when it arrives. I forgot to turn the camera on. So this is take two. Good health all and cheers. Oh, e bar gum, that's refreshing beer. I think it's 4.1%, so, you know, it's safe to drink and drive on this stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice drop. Right, well, I'm going to get on with that. Just ordered some food, and uh, I'll show you the grub when it turns up. See you in a bit. Well, my grub's just arrived. I've got uh, steak and nail, no, steak and mushroom and nail pie, chips and some mushy peas. I'll just give you a look at it. Right, well, uh, I'm going to get some salt and vinegar on that and uh, get stuck in, see what it's like. Mm. Oh, that pie is delicious. They brought me uh, a selection of sauces. So I'm going to get some of that on it and get stuck into it. Well, I've just finished my grub. That pie was absolutely lovely. Mm. I've just got myself another pint. So once again, good health and cheers. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Lovely that, thanks. Yeah, lovely pie that. Glad you enjoyed it. So yeah, what a good way to uh, round off the camp. It's been a brilliant camp going up on Northern Edge again, over to Fair Rook Nays. But. William Clough, steeper than I remembered. It's been a few years since I've been up there. And we had quite a bit of weight in the bags. That's mainly because we took quite a bit of beer. So uh, yeah, it was hard going up there, but on the way back down today, God, we were like mountain goats skipping down there, but we still built up a thirst. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna carry on drinking this. See you in a bit. 